Welcome to Joe B, a movie and a bottle of wine. Hey everybody, it's Joby and Matt and the cat. We had such a great night together. <laughs> we watched such a good movie. There goes the kitty cat. She's going to have some of her yummy dinner. We had a great dinner tonight. We had some great wine. And due to my lackluster libations in uh, episode 100 and previously, we had some really good wine, and i got to tell you about these things. All right, so at Costco, we got in Bonterra. It was the Equinox blend, and this had to do with the Vernal Equinox. It was a pretty good wine, kind of dry, kind of good. I dug it. Good coupon on it. But if I had to put my money on it, we had the Arrogant Frog. Very good wine. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my raccoon gal. Cabernet. Good coupon. I drink it again and again and again. But I got a better one to tell you about. Bottom shelf, Coco Bon. Can't say enough good about that. Red blend. Spicy. Very spicy. Wait, spice it up. See you soon, bitch. But if you want spicy, I found us spicy people. I went down to Fresh to Frozen on a regular basis, and look what I was blessed with. Rich and spicy. Too spicy, too spicy. Love it very much. It's by the Rich Wine Company. Loved it. Bourbon Barrel D diddly ding dang licious. All right, oh, yeah. so I go down and I bought a bottle of it. I took it over to mom's and we drank a bottle and I went back and bought five cases of it. Five that's, cases. That's how much I liked it. What did it cost? Everything. That's dedication. Yeah, yeah. Four ninety nine a bottle. You buy five cases, you get it for four fifty a bottle. <laughs> oh well, you save forty cents a bottle. Ba bam. Sixty bottles times forty cents. Okay. Hey, I'm a smart girl. Yep. It was my understanding that there would be no math. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of movies to review last week. Um, the the red box has gone up to two dollars, people. Two dollars. What? I don't get any better service. I don't. I don't even get a smile. Jeez. I get. A, I get a box that it's I read. It's a vending machine, from. like a Coke machine or a snack machine. Two dollars, people. Two dollars. Two dollars. I've been robbed. Of course you've been robbed. Jeepers. Anyway, I'm gonna keep right. doing it. I'm yeah. not paying for cable. What are you gonna do? So my first movie I want to start with is Aladdin. It had Will Smith in it, and this was actually real people. This wasn't a cartoony movie. This was a real people movie. It's a remake of the Disney animated movie where Robin Williams played the genie in the original one. But that was a cartoon. Right. This movie was real people. Right. It was cool as crap. I really enjoyed it. Uh, uh, Will Smith did a great job being Aladdin. And then the fact that he had to oh. do it as real people and not a cartoon. Okay. Well, no, no. Uh, Will Smith was a genie. Aladdin was Aladdin. Aladdin's the name of the, of, the, of the human. What did I say? You said Will Smith did a great job as Aladdin. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to, I'm not, he's the genie. Right, he's the genie. Aladdin. I'm not trying. I'm just not trying to nitpicky. That just, just you know, just so you know. No, okay. that's truth and such. Okay. Uh, let's see. No cartoon. Um, French and Saunders. I've been watching French and Saunders. My friend has been bringing French and Saunders for me to watch. It's a British comedy. That worked into absolutely fabulous. Right. Oh, I have been loving this. I have like four CDs and, and DVDs in there to watch. And I cannot wait to finish watching them. I've enjoyed them so much. Those two ladies. And it's done so well. It's not like really crappily done. No. All right, let's see. Uh, I saw the Maleficent review preview. I loved it very much. You got to watch it again for Halloween. Maleficent. Um, Angelina Jolie, of course. Who could forget? Um, uh, Valerian. I saw the preview for Valerian the other day, and then I go to my mom's, and my mom and her friend are watching Valerian. Whoa! What are the What are the chances? But my favorite thing about Valerian was Rihanna and the pole dance. Right. Oh my God! Right. That was the best 
pole dancing I've ever seen yeah. in my whole life is Rihanna. Yep. All right, so you guys check that out. All right, then I hit the red box hard this week. I was sick on Monday and Tuesday. So Monday, I, I watched a little bit of stuff, but Tuesday, I hit the red box early. Yeah. I had a bad cough. I, oh. I, man, I was sick. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh. Um, Anna, it was a kick-ass chick movie. There you go. She was a spy. Yep. It had Helen Mirren in it, and the girl that played Anna was Sasha Luss. She was so good. She was a real model, you guys. She was long-legged and blonde-haired, and every time I saw her, she had a different wig, and she was kicking somebody's ass, y'all. Yeah. Man, she went to eat popcorn and kick ass, and she ran out of popcorn. <laughs> it was an awesome movie. Um, it was a lot of flashback stuff. Like, you see this scene, but then you flashback, you know, a couple of months or a couple of years or something, and then you go back and watch the scene again and you see it from a different perspective. Really cool. cool. Really cool. So, like, you look at it and you think this guy's a bad guy, but then when you go back and look at it from a different perspective, you realize that these people were in cahoots with each other. Ah. Uh-huh. Ah. And maybe there was a different perspective to it. So that, that went on constantly throughout the movie. So you have to be conscious of that while you're watching it. Huh. Maybe I'm looking at it differently. Yep. Okay. So Anna, um, November the 8th, I got to tell you, uh, Dr. Sleep is coming out from Stephen King. It had a lot to do with Red Rum. What it's, is, it's a sequel to The Shining. A sequel to The Shining. Yep. To The Shining. Yep. All right. So that's going to be November the 8th, Dr. Sleep. Very exciting. Uh, let's see. We talked about all of my wines. I want to make sure we talked about all of the wines yep. because I am all thumbs up, ten thumbs up on the <laughs> on the arrogant frog. Uh, yep. It was seven ninety nine a bottle, and I am twenty thumbs up on the rich and spicy. But there don't don't try to beat me back to fresh and frozen uh, to get it because I'm going to beat you there. She already got five cases. She's, I mean, she's not going to stop there. If there's any left, I'm going to get the rest. She of is it. not going to stop at five cases. It was a few cases. more on that palate. All right. Let's see. Oh, very exciting. I watched Shaft. It had Samuel L. Jackson in it. I loved it very much. And his girlfriend was Regina Hall. Um, great movie. So it had Sam Jackson. It had uh, his son would be the junior Shaft. And it actually had the original Shaft in it. Right. Richard Roundtree. Richard Roundtree right. came out of the woodwork. So yeah. the three of them in the end of the movie, of course, go walking across the street together in their long, flappy jackets. Right. <laughs> yeah. It was great. I loved it very much. Cool. Um, uh, one movie kind of off the wall that I watched this week was called Black String, and it had a little fella in it, uh, Frankie Muniz, and Matt said he was the middle brother from... Uh, Malcolm in the Middle. Malcolm in the Middle. He was actually the older brother. In the older brother no. from... God, I can't remember. Uh, it, I think he was. It was Malcolm. I think. I remember seeing. No, he it. was Malcolm. He was the one, one in the middle. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's who he was. He was the middle kid. All right. So I remember watching it. His face was very familiar yeah. to me. Agent right. Cody Banks in those old movies. There I was a couple love of those. those Agent Cody Banks yeah, movies. Right. They were really good. Right, right. He kicked some butt teenage yep. ways in that. Yep. <laughs> um, but in the black string, he is. Um, it's really funny because the movie borderlines along the fact that do you think he's crazy or is this really happening? Right. And that was really cool. It just teetered on that edge. Um, he went on this dating website. He hooked up with this girl. The next thing you know, he wakes up with this horrible rash and it goes down his side. And I don't know if it goes plunges elsewhere or not. I, I get the impression that it did. Okay. But anyway, he um, he goes to a fortune teller and does all this kind of stuff to get an answer for it. 
and he finds out that she's a witch and she's implanted him with a seed. I, I don't want to ruin you with the end. All right. No spoiler alerts. No spoiler but alerts. But the seed grows into something that somebody wants. How's that? All right. It, it was a good movie. All right. I liked it. All right. So I hope you guys uh, have some wine. I hope you guys watch some movies. And I, I don't know if I said I ran out of my hundred pages for my hundred episodes. Wow. So I had to open oh, up. Wait, wait, that's just an IMS box. I was like, I thought it was a box of paper, but yeah, your paper. Yeah. So I had to open up okay. a new batch of paper new batch to of paper. start our new episode. There we go. Very okay. exciting. A new hundred pages. I thought that was a box of of stationery. It's a box of IMS. It's like a Kitty new hundred. There it is. Hundred sheets. Woo! So we got another hundred episodes. A hundred episodes. sheets for a hundred episodes. <laughs> Amazing. Sheet, sheet, sheet. And lastly, shit, shit, shit. Amazing. So y'all watch some movies. Gosh, please have a good time. Please enjoy being healthy. I was so sick for two days. Yeah. Don't get it. Watch out for sick people. All right. All right. <laughs> and if you do get sick, drink some wine. Yeah, watch might some as well. Movies. Might as well. All right. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine. I didn't have my Wonder Woman socks on. <laughs> <laughs> Last week I said I was going to have my Wonder Woman socks on. <laughs>